Hello boys, Morim here. Today with another build for Last Epoch. We are featuring Flame Reef this time. This is this beautiful spell. As you can see, looks amazing, feels amazing to play and is a lot of fun. So we are, like I said, using Flame Reef, Mana Strike, Entrant Weapon, Search and Flame Ward for this build. Now a little bit of the gameplay. Cannot do that. So now our skills. Let's have a look. First skill: Mana Strike, Mana Regeneration, Arcane's Blade here. Swift Sap for the 20% attack speed and Rage Sap for the 30%, 35% increased global damage. That's really strong. It scales our Flame Reef and our other stuff. So very, very nice. Ward Strike for Ward Generation. Sprite Blade for increased AoE. And we have Mana Drain for increased Mana Regeneration. This one gives us around 40 mana per hit. So we recharge our mana very, very fast. Really nice. Next up, Enchant Weapon. And weapon, we go with celerity and concentration for our baseline, so nine points into this. Then molten steel for the increased melee fire damage, 25 points plus increased melee fire damage at 100%. Really, really strong. Next up, efficacy for 40% melee elemental damage combined with enchant weapons nerd. 50% more elemental damage. This is just insane. Also, this one increases our melee attacks. Elemental damage by 50% passively. So extremely strong spell. Two points into emulating strikes because, well, nothing else on this tree is really that impactful. We can use desperation, but, well, emulating strikes, 10% ignite chance. We will use those for something else. So let's have a look at our flame reef. Flame reef, four points into dancing flames. We don't want five points. I would even maybe take out one more point just to increase the range of the spell. But it's not really needed. So next up we picked Rending Iron and Naurkrist, Naur whatever. So we are Naurkrist. So melee damage with swords. We are pigeonholed into swords. We like swords so we take just the swords. Heat wave for the 80% fire damage. That's a more fire damage multiplier. Very strong. And Rhythm of Fire. Increased range, damage and width of the spell. So extremely nice and versatility it lets us use mana strike and then flame reef at our better damaging ability right so when we stack this one up we can use it one time you can stack this one up use this one and it also procs our increased aoe flame reef so when we look at our next spell flame ward we pick dilation five points in infusion two points in the fruit of flames and all the defensive notes right here that's about it for this spell Let's go to search. Search, we picked up Storm Battery, picked up Flaming Search and Pyroclasm. This allows us, like I already showed you, this one to proc our Flame Reef like that. So let's have a look at our passives, right? Mage, we picked up the Elementalist, Mage Flurry right here, one point into Reactive Ward, five points into Warden. We wanted Ward Retention because 50% Ward Retention is helping us quite a lot. Two points into Scholar, two points into Arcanist. I don't know why I did it like that, because both of them are fine. I would probably take those points from Scholar and 
put them into Arcanist because the intelligence is really nice. The resistances are also really nice. So that's that. Spellblade right here. We picked up Warden, seven points here. We picked up Infused Weapon, eight points. Fireblood, eight points. Prismatic Blade, eight points. Ten points to Volcas Razor. This one is giving us damage for our Flame Reef right here. So Flame, flame Reef is at 17 mana cost. So we always have 150% increased damage with our Flame Reef. We use Blade Weaver to stack up stacks, as you can see here, up to 10. And then we can use our increased AoE Flame Reef. Picked up Arcane Shielding, our Shatter Aegis for increased defenses. I have one point into Elemental Affinity because I was trying to max, the one, uh, max this one out. Essence Duel for the ward generation attack speed. Mana Reaver for additional health mana gain on hit. 10 mana gain, so we can sustain our reef a lot faster, a lot better. Gemini for dual wielding. Next points are flowing into mental fortitude because of the increased intelligence and ward per second. This is giving us comfortable 183 ward all the time, and we can stack more ward at higher values. That's really, really nice. Next up, our gear. As for our gear, I will go through the uniques first. So first unique is Sun Rith. This one is probably mandatory. I'm not really digging the place there without it. I will show you. Well, as you can see, I am not a fan. I'm not a fan. This one is just a lot better. Let's regenerate on mana. I will show you once again. Yeah, this one is just a lot better. It hits everything around us and the increased mana cost from this one is a lot lower than the one we would get from the skill right here the world of fire next up wing guards i have chosen this one because the attack speed roll is just absolutely insane like a tier 7 is at 30 melee attack speed this one has 38 right we can go up to 40 we do not deal any critical strikes, but well, that's not really important for us because we're not playing for crits. We could swap to crit, but that would warrant a lot more investment and I'm not feeling like building crit. Right here, you want to cap your resistances and get as much health as possible with your suffixes and movement speed is always nice. Same for chest. Chest has a few really good options. You can go with Flame Reef when you get I think yeah, three levels of flame, re flame reef. You can respec your flame reef to include those nodes. Scorching tide. That's additional 60% melee damage. Really strong. Flame ward charge is really nice for defenses. Headpiece. I have crit on this one, but well, I recycled this one from a, a last build. Really high defenses. Vitality is nice. Cooldown reduction is nice. You can also go with intelligence. The ward retention helmet base is also really strong. Fire damage. Increased fire damage helmet is also really strong what you can do is pick something like that enchant weapon you can go up until tier 5 when you get to tier 5 you get two levels into enchant weapon and increased elemental damage this one is really strong you can also go for both chest and headpiece melee elemental damage but i'm not going this route because well flame reef is better it's giving us Additional levels for flame reef and fire damage, and this one levels for enchant weapon and increased melee elemental damage at the same values. So it's just better than the melee elemental damage. As for our swords, I'm using one with melee fire damage, a katana, and increased fire damage. As uh, additionally, I'm using apply frailty on melee hit and chill on melee hit. Chill is a Decrease for action speed and frailty is decreasing the damage that the enemies are dealing to us. You can also go with something like this, which is slow and frailty. Fl uh, slow, just those enemies. On our second weapon, we are using melee fire damage because melee fire damage is king. And increased attack speed because we want additional attack speed, right? Doesn't feel good without, but I wanted to include additional increased fire damage because we need to balance out of increased increases the fire damage. As for our ring, I recycled this one just for the resistances. Elemental damage is really nice. You can go with increased fire damage, you can go with increased physical damage, but it's not doing much. So I would just go with fire damage and elemental damage on this one. As for our belt, we go with fire damage. You have uh, multiple options right here. Additional potion slots, dodge rating, ignite, whatever on potion use is really, really strong. Increases to health, hybrid health, 
just normal health, percent health, or resistances are always nice to have on your on the slot. So that's that. And for our magic relic, there are two options. Yeah, right here, the third eye, nine, up to nine physical fire and poison resistance. So one of the stronger relics, or you can go with a scribing quill that's giving us eight to twenty one watt per second. Really strong. So that's that. You want health resistances or prefixes or oh, suffixes. On the prefixes, you want increased fire damage, intelligence, dexterity, whatever you can get. Vitality is also okay. I opted for intelligence because, well, ward generation is nice. As for our amulet, you can go with the skull amulet or with this amulet or there is an attack speed amulet. Uh, you want fire penetration because that's one of the only sources you can get this one except maybe for the blessings. I have increased elemental damage over time on this one. That's not really good, but the resistances were so incredible. So I picked this one to max out my resistances. Elemental damage over time is not necessary on this build. You don't want this one. You want fire damage. So fire penetration fire damage right here and for our idols there are multiple options i have really gg idols right here increased melee elemental damage and increased fire damage same for this one i think this one has fire damage over time so that's not really necessary for this build you want something like increased fire damage or what per second you can also get this one combined with melee elemental damage and our last one has spell, spell cold damage and extremely high Melee elemental damage, I think that's near max roll. Yeah, 70 is max roll. So the spell damage is not doing us any favor. So this is really strong right here. Okay, last thing, our loot filter. I set up a loot filter already for us. It's the Flame Weave Spell Blade. You will find it in the description box. There is a forum post where I upload the build guide and I also upload the loot filter. So as you can see, the loot filter set up properly but if you want to change something you just click on something like here you can recolor it you can select different bases you can increase the strictness to for example three or four so that's the tier rolls for the prefixes you can choose every prefix you desire i picked for this one fire damage and fire penetration okay so if you liked the video leave a like leave a comment subscribe follow me on twitter follow me on twitch and ring that bell right here. I usually play MMORPGs and ARPGs on this channel and on my Twitch channel. So I upload guides and different videos, reviews to those types of games. So see you next time and bye.